just going to share a fun little thing I've been working on, um, just learning how to make fire using vector curves and shapes. And um, the reason I do this, that I'm doing it, is I'd like to be able to export it at different sized resolutions and things and have a bit of flexibility there, um, as opposed to doing using, say, paint or anything like that, any paint programs. Um, it has a, has a different effect, it has a, like a softer kind of look to it. Um, I've been enjoying learning about vector art. So um, yeah, this is something that I've come up with. It's probably only took about 10 minutes to make. So I'll just go through the process of what I've done. Um, it's not perfect. If anyone's got any suggestions on ways that it could be improved, please let me know. Um, so basically I'm just using the, the one of the shape tools, the tier tool, and it seems to be working fairly well. So I will create one of these, just a shape, and I've just made it red so you can see. And then I will actually use Control J and make another one. And I'll just resize that to a bit small. And then I'll use Control J again, hopefully. Yes, it worked. So I've just hit it's uh, at one of the functions in Affinity where it it actually allows you to you know reduce the size or increase the size or change the the rotation and things like that by using Control j on windows um, now i'm going to adjust the colors so i'll just go from red to white basically so this will be yellow and then i'll make another brighter yellow kind of like that and then I'll make this one pure white. Now you can play around with this as much as you like. I might just make that a bit more red, red orange. Okay, so that's the that's the basic layout. I will also convert these all to curves because I will be slightly modifying the shape, so it's just easier to do it all at once. Now I will place them in each other like this. You can start to see the effect happening there. Now, to get the flame, all I need to do is add the quick effects blur, Gaussian blur, and you've got what's starting to look like a flame. Um, to add the, the black, this is optional, of course. I'm going to, I want a little bit of residual smoke so I've just added a couple of nodes here and I'm going to select those nodes and to make it a bit easier I use this um, origins transform function which puts a little pivot point in for you so you can move the whole thing and kind of keep its width at the same time so I might make it a bit like there's a little bit of a gust or something and now I can do the same to the others. So it's a pretty easy process. Like so. And you can make it as organic or natural as you want. It's up to you. So this, this is a bit more of a complicated one. So I've got the flame here. Now to make the, the little bit of smoke, I'm just going to copy that now and just make it go a little bit further out to the side. Kind of like that. Now I'll actually add some more nodes. You see it's still red, but I haven't finished yet. Now I'll just make it black. And you can see it's fairly thick and it's starting to make everything stand out a bit. And one other thing I need to adjust is the layering. So I'll put it at the back see the effect is starting to come together a little bit so you can see a little bit of a smoke drift there you could make that as long as you want you could play around with that make it look a bit more natural I even experimented with using white as well you know like when you strike a match there's kind of that residual white smoke that comes off sometimes now to make the match um, obviously this is just playing around um, I just made a 
shape like that. Just modified that shape slightly to look like a match head, kind of like that. And then I think I added a gradient, something this. Uh, so I've got a linear gradient. Um, these little embers which are I just use little shapes so I use triangles to see what that looks like so I just actually you don't even need the gradient just I just use orange we use like a ready orange like that and then just made a few variations just holding down control you could make a bunch of groups like this and then maybe one there and then you get all those place them in a group and then you can put a blur on them as well so you get this nice soft kind of get this nice soft little ember sort of flying out of the out of the flames and you can just move them around a little bit to make it look a bit more random so I might just put another one up here somewhere there you go so that looks a bit more fake than the other one but um, yeah that probably took about 10 minutes to do that but you can do any shape you want you can just if I want to get that and make a more odd looking shape I just Use the nodes, maybe add add a node and have it go out this way. So there you go. There's a pretty simple video on making flames and fire for Affinity Designer. Thank you for watching.